So welcome to the um, home series. Uh, we're doing going to be doing the Pilates class. My name is Tracy, and we shall get started. So first stretch, breathing pattern. Take your feet shoulder width apart, keeping these nice and soft, and place your hands on top of your rib cage. Breathing in for me, and as you breathe out, lengthen, and again, breathing in and breathing out. So you want to keep your chest nice and wide, keeping knees soft, standing nice and tall. Making sure your hip bones are in line, your knees and your toes. Breathing in and out. So on. Okay, now we're going to find our neutral by going through pelvic tilt. So keep your knees nice and soft. I want you to tip your pelvis forward and back. So your upper body must remain still the whole time. The only movement that is moving is from the center or your girdle. So keep that belly button tucked in. Breathe in, breathe out, tip your pelvis forward and back. Forward and back. So we're gonna do a couple of those. All right, now we're gonna do floating angels. Feet shoulder width apart. Float your hands out to the side. Breathe in as you bring your arms back. Breathe out. Float out to the side, up towards the ceiling. Keep your elbows nice and soft. And open up. Nice full body stretch for you here. Nice relax. For those of you who are advanced, rising up onto your toes then come back down so you need to control the movement if you're coming up onto your toes controlling your balance on the way back to the floor and a couple more float and up breathe in make sure you breathe in and breathe out as you lift all right, next Pilates is our standing forward roll. So you want to keep your feet shoulder width apart, keep your hands down by your side, soft your knees. Breathe in and out, chin towards the chest. Roll yourself down. Let the arms go, let your shoulders relax. Roll down towards the floor. When you get to the bottom, breathe in at the end. Breathe out as you unfold and uncurl. Unlocking each vertebrae one at a time, coming back up into vertical alignment. And again, chin towards chest. Roll yourself down, letting the arms go, letting the shoulders relax. When you get to the bottom, breathe in at the end, breathe out as you unfold and uncurl, come back up. So this is a nice stretch through the spine to unlock all the vertebrae. And unfold and uncurl. Making sure you breathe in and breathe out with each movement. Don't hold your breath. Just let everything go. Chin towards the chest, rolling yourself down, all the way down towards the floor. Breathe in at the end, breathe out. All right, let's come down onto all fours, onto our knees, hands directly underneath the shoulders. So we're gonna go into a four point kneeling position. Breathe in to prepare. And as you breathe out, lengthen out. Opposite arm with the opposite leg. So you wanna keep your head in neutral. Stabilization in for your pelvis. Elongating through the spine. Breathe out as you lengthen. Breathe in as you bring the arms and your leg back in. Take it over to the other side. Breathing out. And in. And out. Make sure you don't lift your head up. Keep your head down the whole time. 
So it's not so much about the lift, it's more about the lengthening. It's so making sure that you do not lift your leg up towards to the ceiling too high or your arms. So you want to keep everything in line with the spine. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthening through the air. All right, we'll just do a couple more on either side. For those of you, if you have got shoulder issues and you cannot do this one, you don't have to do it with the arms, but you can still go with the legs. So just extend the leg out and keep your hands directly underneath the shoulders. So that's your modification for those who do have shoulder issues through there. And out. Give me one more on either side, lengthening out, nice big stretch through there. Come back into neutral and let's take it over to the other side. That's a nice four point kneeling Pilates pose here. Okay, so now we're going to do thread needles from Pilates. So Let's start with the left arm. Take your left hand behind your right shoulder, breathing in, breathe out, open up that same arm and bring your hand back to the floor. Let's take it over to the other side. You breathe in, drop your shoulder to the floor, breathe out as you open up through the chest, lengthen and then bring your hand to the floor, lengthen the arms back out in front so it's stretching back into a child pose. Let's do that again. Thread the needle, one hand goes behind, open up, elongate through there, bring that hand back to the floor, breathe in, let's take it over to the other side, drop the shoulder to the floor, open up through the chest, lengthening up, hands come back to the floor, sit back towards the heels, lengthen the arms out in front, holding that stretch. And again, thread the needle. Try and come down as close as you can to the floor. Really opening up, so we're opening up through the back as well, mobilization and through there. Take it over to the other side, lengthen, and open. Come back to neutral. Sit back towards the heels, reach the arms forward, drop your head to the floor. And then coming back up into your four point kneeling. Just got a couple more to go, keep it going. Threading the needle, breathe in, breathe out as you open up through the chest. Bring your hand back to the floor. Let's take it over to the other side. Breathing in and breathing out. Back into neutral alignment, sit back towards the heels, stretch forward, drop your head down so you get a nice stretch for your back. Making sure that your eyes are following the arms as you follow the arms through. Okay, so now I want you to come down onto your tummy. We're gonna go into a dart with your hands down by your side. Keeping your head down. If you need something underneath your whole forehead, put your towel underneath. So this is called your dart. Level one, keep your feet on the floor. You're gonna lift up through the head, 
and slide your hands down towards your toes. Just making sure that your hands, your palms are facing inwards. Feet must remain down on the floor. Lift up, slide your hands down towards your toes. Breathe in as you come back down. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in as you come back to the floor. Keep your head in neutral alignment. And slide your hands down. Level two, you can lift your feet off the floor. Making sure those palms stays in towards your thighs. Breathe in as you come back down to glutes are on. Lift and slide. Do not lift the head up. So don't hyperextend through the head. Your head must stay down to keep your neck in neutral alignment. And out as you lift, beautiful. And come back down. And one more. And lift. And come back down. So that is your dart. And we are done.